All right, before you start using your bingo dabber, make sure your name is on the bottom left corner in Sharpie. Hold the lid and shake it. Put the cap back in your art kit so it doesn't get lost. Now you're doing this to do a little practice before you start on your final paper. So just start off by doing a border, carefully dragging it around all of the edges of your paper, being sure not to squeeze it. If you notice your black line is a little scratchy, just go ahead and go back over it. Next, you're gonna go ahead and write your initials. It's the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name. We're gonna go back in another day and paint these after they're dry. Practice doing some polka dots, any other kinds of lines around your initials. Now, if you want some lines bolder, you just go over and put another line next to it just to darken each one. It just makes it a little bit thicker. Also remember, never pick up your paper until it is dry. Go ahead and just slide it above your mat. Now, some things not to do. You don't want to hold it at an angle because you're not going to get a line or you'll get a half of a line. You want to hold it straight up and down. This is going to give you a nice solid line. You do not want to smash it. That's going to splatter the paint and this ink does not come out. You want to gently dot your dots. And do not squeeze it. If you are squeezing it, you will not use it. You do not want puddles. You do not want drips. You want to use it very carefully. Take your time and have fun with it. If at any time you are not using this bingo dabber appropriately, I will just take it away and you will use a black Sharpie or a crayon. We don't want to make a big mess of the ink. Lastly, do not forget to put your cap back on and return it back to your art kit.